Hey dudes, it's Pungy Stick. We haven't done the uh, vlog thing in a little while. So the reason I'm making this video is because I want to... Uh, I've got what I think is a pretty cool setup now as far as uh, dual PC setups go. They've got a pretty unique setup uh, that I think a lot of people would be interested in whether you stream part-time, full-time, as a hobby, uh, if you're just gaming, but you know, what, no matter what your interest is, I feel like the, the setup I've been working on here on my desk, the setup has been, um, it's just, it's a lot different. There's no mixer, there's nothing connecting anything, I've got giant monitors, I've got a sit-stand desk, like I, I want to start making some tech videos to explain all the things I've been using now, and uh, I want to start with, first of all, these monitors. One, because they're simple and familiar and a good place to start, and two, because this is a sponsored video, and I love you guys, but you know I take sponsored shit I like. And this, this is things we like. I have been using giant 32 inch monitors from Samsung, the Samsung CHG70. I've been using it for six months or so, six, seven months now. And uh, I wanted to use them for a long time because, uh, so Samsung approached me with an opportunity to try them out. I was very nervous to say yes because I've never used such a giant girthy boy and uh, I have to say it's been awesome. I've always been curious what a 32 inch monitor would be like. I didn't know if I'd be like cranking my head to the left and the right or uh, you know or, or if it would just be way too big or if it would help me see in game better and uh, I gotta say it's nice. I didn't, I didn't, as long as you have a deep desk you'll notice I have there's quite a bit of distance from the back to the front of my desk. Uh, if you're, if you're kind of cramped for space I would not recommend a 32 inch monitor. If you have the desk space then I could recommend it. If you don't, I would stick with 27 or below. They do make this exact same monitor in 27 and 24. Um, I just, I really, I wanted to try big. And uh, second, they're curved. If we haven't noticed, so that makes, as far as my, uh, my desire for perfection here, as far as the little seam goes, the curved is real nice. This looks just beautiful, beautiful upper edge of the setup. So uh, I had to go for it, I had to try it out, and here we are. Anyway, uh, it's also 32 inches with 144 hertz, 1ms, beautiful color calibrated. They send you this, this sheet with the serial number of the monitor, already professionally color calibrated, so everything looks accurate and beautiful and perfect. Uh, I know this tan, tan screen for the Siege screen doesn't do much for you, but I'm, trust, the color looks fantastic on this monitor. It's 1440p by native. Um, I use 1440 on this one. This is my stream monitor. I use 1440 on that to maximize space. However, on the game PC, I do actually play in 1080. Um, I just, I want the frames. I want it to be as, as high frame rate as I can possibly get. So I stick with 1080. It still looks very crisp with 1080, but I, I almost think that 27 might be the biggest you can get with 1080 for it to, for it to look the best it can. Uh, once you go over 27 inches, I, I kind of think you need the 1440p, but I still care more about the frame rate, so I'll sacrifice a little bit of the clarity for the better FPS. But that's just me. Next I want to show you guys the menus, real quick. Because these, it's very simple. There's a little button with a little knobby on the back little knob guy, little knob thing, you can move a little knobby boy. You move it around, it's super easy. None of the like up, down, one, two things. If, if you want to go down, you go down. If you want to go right, you go right, left, left. It has uh, obviously quite a few settings, quite a few different uh, things that will have a pretty big impact on how the monitor looks, just with some presets. Uh, so you can really get creative with whatever is comfortable for you. Uh, black equalizer is becoming pretty standard on every gaming monitor now. 
And then the nice thing is you can set up to three presets so that if you have a couple top games you play, you can swap between the presets quickly and easily and save up to three of them instead of manually adjusting everything each time. Um, obviously, you know, hefty price tag on the thing, but if top of the line is what you're after, this is absolutely it. You're not, you're, if you, if it's in your budget and you're looking for the best you can do with your money when it comes to shooters, I mean, you're getting 144 hertz, you're getting 1MS, you're getting perfect color, you're getting so much customization on lighting and color itself. Honestly, I've been nothing but super happy with this monitor for the last six or seven months that I've been using it. Um, so this, I think this will be the start of, I want to go over a lot of my different setup, how I use no mixer, the way I have both PCs connected. They're not actually connected by wires at all, and that's thanks to SteelSeries new headset. We'll talk about that one later. So that's one of a couple tech videos that I want to do. Um, I'll talk about more of them later on Twitter, whatever, stream, chat, something like that. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, all that greatness. See you soon. Hey, bye, bye.